Hot Coffee is a documentary that's playing on HBO. Uh, we premiered it last year at Sundance Film Festival and HBO bought it. Um, it tells the story, it actually tells four stories. Um, it, it gets its name from the McDonald's hot coffee case, the coffee case that everybody knows about, the famous McDonald's coffee case. That's where it gets the title. And, um, and it also tells three other stories. Um, the Gourley family who, who were, um, had a medical malpractice claim and it had to be reduced after a jury verdict. It shows what they've had to go through um, since the reversal of that uh, jury verdict tells the case um, of Jamie Lee Jones, who uh, was a Halliburton employee who had signed an arbitration agreement when she worked for Halliburton and uh, she was brutally raped and drugged while she was in Iraq working for Halliburton, attempted to file a lawsuit and was not allowed to do, do so because she had filed an arbitration agreement. And then of course it tells my story about judicial elections and how uh, corporations have uh, come into the elective process, especially for judges, and uh, the, the things that happen in judicial elections when large amounts of money are spent in, in those things. The film was directed by uh, a, a woman named Susan Saladoff. Um, and she's actually from Oregon. She's a lawyer um, by, by profession, but she decided to leave the law practice a couple of years ago and get involved in the film industry. And, and one of the stories she's always wanted to tell because it always came up in her trials was the hot coffee McDonald's case. She said jurors would always ask about it. And so she wanted to take a fresh look at it. And, and she did a great job with this film because she actually went back and interviewed some of the actual jurors on the trial of the McDonald's case, got the evidence. She, I think she had the original coffee cup that was introduced at the trial and uh, interviewed the lawyer who handled the case. So she did a really in-depth uh, study of, of that, that case and brought out, I think, new things that people just didn't know. One of the shocking things that people find about the movie is that she actually had the, the photographs of the injuries to the woman who was burned by the coffee and, and you actually see the gasps of people on film when they first see these injuries, which were extremely uh, severe inj injuries and extensive to this woman. Third degree burns in her groin area and all along her, her legs, and it, it was, it's just horrific injuries. And folks, when they see that, they said, oh, now I understand why there may have been damages awarded by a jury in this case. I came out of this fine. Um, you know, worst thing that happened is I'm, you know, a fairly well-known attorney now in the state of Mississippi, um, and, and I'm doing fine. The, what breaks my heart is the, the, some of the other folks featured in the movie, uh, the Gourley family who struggle every day with a child who you know who who is is severely handicapped and they have to struggle with that and Jamie Lee Jones who had her story featured and she's got to live with the memories of what happened to her um, you know so I don't have any complaints I, and that's why I feel like it's sort of my duty to go out and speak about this movie around the country to tell the stories of of these other people who who really probably can't tell their stories um, and, and so I, I, I look at that as, as part of my mission at what I'm doing now.